I'm gonna show you how you can remove green spot algae from your glass in seconds. And we're gonna start right now. Now, the thing is people, when it comes to green spot algae, which is that green buildup of algae that you get on the glass, there's nothing you can do that can actually stop it from growing, unfortunately. It's just a battle that you're gonna have to have if you wanna keep fish. But luckily, there are a few things you can do to reduce that. And of course, there's the technique that I have that actually removes it in seconds. But to make your job a bit easier, there are a few things you can do to just reduce reduce the amount of algae you get and let's actually start with that before I tell you how you can actually remove it from your glass in seconds. So the first thing you want to consider is your positioning of your fish tank. Now in my room my window is right over there so during the day when the sunlight comes through the window it actually hits the fish tank. So one of the things that I have to do I actually have to keep my curtains half closed. I actually have this perfect position where I put the curtain where it blocks off the sun from the fish tank but I still give sunlight to my plant that's all on this side of the room. So yeah, positioning of the fish tank is something you definitely want to think about because if sunlight hits that directly, you're going to get so much algae, it is crazy. Now the other thing you want to do that can help you out a little bit is just get some algae eaters. Now I'm not talking about the Siamese algae eater because that one does get quite big, but think about things like snails or maybe a pleco. Once again, not the common pleco because they get quite big as well, but just like a bristle nose or something, depends on the size of your tank. Or you could even get something more interesting like a hill stream loach. And the last one I'll mention is the light. Light can have a serious effect on the growth of your algae so if you're getting a big build up on your glass straight away you might want to look at the times that you have your light on. For example with my light I have an aqua sky which I used to have on the full settings where you can just see the fish beautifully but it caused a lot of algae to grow in my tank and I realized I don't even have that much time to actually sit in front of my fish tank to watch them so I've actually reduced the power and um, I've set my days a bit shorter as well. It's around eight o'clock right now and my tank has already gone into sunset which means the light is slowly dimming and by 9 30 they're going to turn off completely but yeah lights is also one thing you want to think about but yeah now let's talk about actually removing it from your glass and people i promise you it honestly takes seconds now the first thing you can use which is the hardest one to use because you gotta use quite a bit of force is a plastic card now it can be an old bank card or maybe an old work card anything like that and you would simply use it to scrape it off the glass now using a card compared to the other things i'm about to mention is the the safest thing to do if you don't want to damage your glass because the plastic is very unlikely to scratch your glass but it does require quite a bit of force i used to use cards before and um i was literally there just like trying to scrape it off and it honestly took forever so i moved on to the second thing which is razor blades now you can either use a literal razor blade which you know you use for shaving or you can buy something like a scraper which is what i ended up doing but they also use razor blades as well now you do have to be careful people People because if you don't buy a scraper that is specifically made for a fish tank they're gonna have sharp edges and if you do it wrong you could potentially scratch your glass so I would say try it out first on a corner that you don't really care about that you might not see a lot and just get your technique right before you start using the front of the glass or you could do what I done and you can buy one of these um, let me show you these actually have a rounded corner so they don't scratch your um, glass you can get them for an okay price don't worry guys I'm not sponsored by them or anything Thing, but if you want to make your job a bit easier you can buy one of them but the main thing is really is using that razor blade and people honestly it works wonders now the cool thing is depending on what kind of fish tank you have but the algae that you scrape off you can actually leave it floating around because once again depending on what kind of fish you have they might actually eat that algae for example when i was scraping some off earlier i saw my baby rainbow fish nibbling at it by the way if you want to check out the day i got my baby rainbow fish why don't you check out this video next 